Hi everyone, Adrienne here. So today I'm going to be reviewing the jewelry from the Crypt of Curiosities, which is a UK-based, uh, handmade, gothic jewelry shop, kind of based in the UK. I have several of their pieces and I want to share them with you and tell you guys how awesome they are and encourage you guys to go buy their stuff, because honestly, it's been a really long time since I've seen like really high quality uh, handmade jewelry that is simple and elegant but really reflects your dark soul at the same time. That's really hard to capture, I really think. So let me show you the pieces that I own. One of the first things that I bought from the Crypt of Curiosities actually was this beautiful, um, I believe this is called the Moon Enchantress uh, pendant and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love anything that has uh, symbols and icons of the moon, so this is really, really, really gorgeous. It's absolutely breathtaking. It's one of my favorite pieces to wear, and I really like the shades of dark blue, and the moon just seems to glow from this thing. It's pretty awesome. Another one that I own is this pair of the uh, Gothic Victorian uh, dangle earrings, I believe they're called. That This is what they look like. They are pretty, like, like I said, these guys really excel at making simple pieces that are incredibly elegant but dark at the same time. So as you can see, this is quite elegant. It has a filigree kind of design in the middle with um, a little black crystal and dangly black crystals at the end. It's really nice. Like if you... These are really good earrings to wear for a job interview, actually. Like, they're not overpoweringly dark and potentially offensive, because I know some people are just like, oh my god, you're wearing skulls. Ew. Like, gross. I actually think I wore these for my interview for my job that I currently have, so... Um, if you need something subtly goth, but also really elegant at the same time, this is definitely for you. So, yet another pair of earrings that I have from the Crypt of Curiosities, because honestly, I really like their earrings. Like, the earrings really have to be incredible for me to actually break down and buy them. So, there are these earrings right here. They have like this uh, dangly chain and this uh, on hanging in the middle, and they just have this wonderful framework. These I actually received in the mail on my birthday, so that was pretty awesome. So, I think this is the second purchase I made from Crypt of Curiosities, and they're really big, they're really bold. They really make a statement, but at the same time, they are, as I said, very elegant, which I really appreciate. Yes, I know, I have a lot of earrings by these guys, but like I said, these earrings are really awesome. It'll take a lot for me to break down and buy a pair of earrings, really. As I've said, I really enjoy anything that has like iconography or symbolism of the moon, so I got these. Beautiful, beautiful. They're very large. I I think I'd say that they're about two and a half inches from the top of the crescent to the bottom. So they're pretty substantial, but at the same time they're very, very lightweight on the ear. They're not going to weigh your ear down, they're not going to irritate your ear hole, or piercing hole, whatever the hell you want to call it. But um, these, again, are very... They're simple, but they really make a statement and they're very elegant and flattering on the ear. So. I really like these. Now, yet another pair of earrings that I have by these guys are these really adorable, very small, little moon and star um, dangly earrings. Now, if you want something more subtle that still, like, gives you that moon kind of symbolism stuff, I'd really recommend these. Uh, these really are awesome. If, or if you want to, like, even wear them in your second set of earrings, like, next to another dangly earring that you're wearing, that's totally cool. So that's kind of what I like about some smaller pieces is that you can combine them with other earrings. It's pretty cool. Um, these actually came with my Moon Enchantress uh, necklace. So I thought they were a pretty cool pairing. Now on to the jewelry that I'm actually wearing today. I have on these dangly skull um, earrings with the black crystal on the bottom. And these are very, very impressive. I like how long these are. They really do a really wonderful job of flattering your face, flattering the ear, flattering your neck, making it look longer. Um, it's wonderful to wear if you're wearing your hair up, actually, because you can actually show them off, which is fantastic. And 
I really like these skulls. Oh, and they're really, really cute. As a matter of fact, I was looking around and looking around for a pair of earrings that I could wear with my Le Fleur de Baudelaire um, choker by Alchemy Gothic. I'm sure you've seen it. It's, uh, uh, it has two fairies and it's holding a very green stone in the middle and then uh, dangling from that is a skull with a little crystal hanging from, from the skull. Really gorgeous piece. However, <laughs> it poses the problem of having very few earrings that you can really match that up with, but these really do the trick. Seriously, you have the skull and the dangling black crystal, and that kind of echoes the Le Fleur du Baudelaire choker. That really echoes the Le Fleur du Baudelaire choker, which is pretty awesome. So these are very, very versatile. I really like these. And then finally, one of my favorite pieces by the Crypto Curiosities I'm actually wearing right now. This is the Crescent Moon Velvet Choker. And this is incredibly flattering on the neck. Incredibly flattering. It really elongates your neck and it decorates like up here. Like really draws attention to here and I don't know. It's just awesome. I really, really like it. And uh, this is one of my go-to pieces when I'm going out or just everyday kind of goth jewelry wear. So overall, I am really satisfied with the Crypt of Curiosities. They ship very, very quickly if you happen to be someplace other than the UK. Like even if you're in the UK, they'll probably ship to you like very, very quick quickly. But even if you're like in the United States or someplace else, they will ship very quickly, which I really appreciate. They're, you're really getting your money's worth out of these. Like honestly, I don't think anything I've bought here by itself has been $20. And even though the price is really low, the quality really makes up for the lack of price. And I think that's great. So I would really encourage you guys to go check out the Crypt of Curiosities on Etsy. I will leave a link in the description down below. And one last thing for you guys, if you are interested in picking up this t-shirt, which shows a uh, Charles Baudelaire, the very famous author of Le Fleur du Mal. Go ahead and look on my page on redbubble.com. I found this particular drawing of Charles Baudelaire on Google. And what I did is I modified it so it would look awesome on a black t-shirt. So if you want one of these t-shirts, go ahead and look at the link in the description below. And go ahead and check me out on social media and I will see you guys later. Bye!